Hey, what's going on? And welcome to Wild Finds, where I search thrift stores for media items here at the Salvation Army. Let's see what we can find. I also search for other things, but it, it's 90% of what I find is media, you know, DVDs, music, video games when I'm lucky. Holy smokes, they have these, I can't believe it, bum fights. Uh, in the early 2000s, Jackass was popular, so people took it to the next level and they created bum fights and this is like homeless people fighting each other and stuff. And it's very morally like bankrupt, but uh, you know. There it is. I don't think you can even sell this on eBay. They would take down the listing. The creator of this got sued and might have went to jail. They also have this weird science, the complete seasons one and two. Around that time, a lot of comedy movies had TV shows like Bill and Ted and uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is kind of funny because there was a better show that was a ripoff of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It was called Parker Lewis Can't Lose. Well, here's Weird Science, the TV show. They also made a television show based off Uncle Buck, starring Kevin Meany. I'm sure it wasn't very good. I also grabbed this one. It's called When I Die, based on the death of Hunter S. Thompson. When he passed away, they built this monument. Seems like a very obscure DVD right here. At the next spot here, just found a couple things. One called The Grease Man, and this one, Newsboys, and it's autographed. These are CDs, in case that wasn't apparent. At the next spot, Lighthouse Ministries. Oh no! Yeah, Ooh, the dog has a purple mohawk. He's a punk rock. They got a DVD here about my man Godfrey. I'll buy this one for resale. Put that money towards a big red balloon. Here at the Goodwill, they have Big on Blu-ray from the Big Lots. It was five dollars at Big Lots. Goodwill's price, $4.98. Big time savings there. They do have this Walt Disney Treasures uh, in the steelbook thing uh, for $2.98. Their pricing is all over the map crazy. Definitely buying this. These Walt Disney Treasures are rare. This one isn't like the most uh, in-demand one, but still an awesome find. At the Salvation Army here, found some interesting DVDs. This one's uh, gonna be for resale, found this. Disney Wow Home Theater Experience. You like test out your home theater with the, you know, a Disney DVD. Kind of uh, interesting there. Has a little bit of resale value. I'll grab this one to watch, I've never seen this. Uh, Woody Allen movie starring Larry David. Heck yeah. This one, Tuck Everlasting. This is actually interesting. It's a movie about a guy, he gets tucked into bed and the tuck is so powerful, he's trapped in the bed forever. And you know this one's gotta be good, The Snarks. <laughs> the problem with Salvation Army, it's always jammed packed. Here's the line. Sometimes you can find good DVDs at pawn shops. Nothing really interesting in that one right here, but let's check out this place. Toys, comics, intergalactic plastic. Looks pretty sweet. Heck yeah. Limited run official partner. They're doing a sale with Misfit Toys. Found a bunch of cool Simpson toys here. Hasbro Undertaker figure. It does have like marker on it, but for a dollar. Oh yeah. The store has a pretty good selection of games here. They're pretty pricey, but. They have this right here and you're probably thinking, oh, the Return of the Jedi Ewoks playset. But no, this is uh, the Prince of Thieves playset. It's like the same exact thing, just rethemed. Kind of interesting there. More games here. They have a limited run section. So many of these I want, but I just don't want to pay the money for them. This right here is pretty sweet. My name's Emery. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the city and you're thrifting, city thrift. I mean, come on, duh. So they have a good selection of vinyl here 
and it's just kind of, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff that isn't too, too hard to find. Except a bunch of these are still new and sealed promo albums, like see how the corner is cut right there? Which does uh, decrease from the value. But because it's new, some of these I think will have some value. And I put a whole bunch aside. Uh, Don McLean, like Linda Ronstadt, Melanie, I'm not really sure who that is, but... I think I'm gonna take a chance on these. Most of these are $1.99. So, uh, you know, pretty good deal. A lot of this is like new old stock stuff that, you know, probably never sold back in the day. Maybe someone will want it now. So I put a few of those back, but heck yeah, 17 records, brand new for $39. Yeah, yeah. So at first I mistakenly said those records were radio station promos because they have holes drilled in them. I was confusing it for CDs, which uh, they would drill holes in the barcodes. These were discounted records, uh, you know, sold at discount and, uh, and they would cut them so that people knew not to pay full price for them. At this bookstore right here, wall of books, I bought The Stand. Now I complained about this book before saying that the type was too small. So, but this is a different version and the type is a little bit bigger and less crunched together. So look forward to finally reading this one. So this was $4.97 and they do a thing here where any book you buy you can bring back for half that price. So that's actually a really cool deal. And uh, you can bring other books for credit. Maybe someday I'll unload all the ones that don't sell at like my yard sales and flea markets and stuff. We got a thrift store down here, we have an antique mall, and we have another antique mall, the Coop Antiques, and it's a Coop, all right? They got chickens or roosters over here. Hey, buddies. A rooster that hangs out at a strip mall. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Just curious, does the rooster stay there all the time or does it come in at nighttime? They wander around. They're free range. Yeah? Yeah. That's neat. They just stay in Oviedo. They're our mascots. Very nice. So they have a little DVD section over here. Unfortunately, the prices are really bad. Cowboy Bebop, the movie, $15. They have this, 18 again. I don't think I've ever seen this on DVD before, but the price, 8 bucks, not great. Around this time period, there were tons of body switch movies. There's this one, 18 again. You got like vice versa, big, even dream a little dream. Uh, like father, like son also. Here at this Goodwill, ooh, and it's spooky, yeah. Benjamin Franklin Instant Disguise. Tim Vargulish used to wear these, so no one would know it was him. They would just think it was Benjamin Franklin hanging out at the park. Great joke, Tim, I miss ya. They have a Nintendo Wii Aerosmith guitar, and it even comes with the Wiimote for five bucks. That's a good deal. This guy really likes Nightmare on Elm Street. Holy smokes. So here at the Goodwill, a couple uh, pretty good finds here. Bone Tomahawk. I saw this movie in the theater. It's over the top violent. It's amazing. And there's something just cool about having seen a limited release movie that most people didn't get to see in the theater. Well, I did, so suck on that. Just kidding, obviously, but yeah, great film. Uh, Explorers, uh, I'm surprised this wasn't like more popular, at least in my household. Like, of course, watch The Goonies and, you know, Monster Squad and uh, Flight of the Navigator a thousand times. But for some reason, just never watched this. I didn't watch this until way later. I remember it being pretty good. I'm going to pick this up. And this one, too. At the next spot here, Donkey Kong Country Returns for Wii. Unfortunately, the wrong disc is inside it. But it's Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, which does have some value. So I'll pick this up for $2. Here at this thrift store, this stuff out front is free. There's a whole bunch of little kids' scooters. There's a helmet. I wonder why they donated all these scooters. Uh, the kid probably didn't survive this crash. No personal use for that, but oh, okay. this is free too? Yes, sir. They just don't sell that fast. Yeah. And sometimes kids don't 
kids can just get better use of them right now. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. So they added that giant teddy bear to the pile. There's something about teddy bears that kind of depresses me. That like at one point someone was excited to win this at a carnival. And then it just ends up in the trash heap over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so more free stuff. Looks like there's uh, Spanish language uh, romance novels. I'll take these, try to lock them up. You know, sell 10 of them for like $10. Uh, nothing crazy there. Here at this roadside thrift shop. Let's see what Marjorie has for sale. Got some PS1 games here, real fishing, NHL, test drive off-road action bass, NFL Blitz 2001. This is slightly in demand. I'm assuming these are a dollar each, and if so, I'll grab these right here. Hello, how much are these? Five each. Five each? Okay. Man, I really thought I found a halfway decent deal there. Not paying five dollars each for these. At this next thrift shop, they have a bunch of copies of the same movies. Kind of funny. Here's your Titanics if you need Titanic. Ooh, and a free Willy section. Nice. I guarantee you in the 90s someone made a joke. Oh, what movie was Pee Wee Herman seen in the theater? I bet it was Free Willy. <laughs> I haven't been to this thrift store in a long time, but they have the same deal. Fill a bag for three dollars. The cassette tape selection is very generic, but I do okay on these. They're easy to sell on eBay. You can lot up, you know, 20 of them and charge, you know, $25. Uh, so I think I'll be taking advantage of that deal. So $3 for this bag right here, good deal. So wasn't that a great episode of Wild Finds? Everyone clap for me, clap for me, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're all clapping for me. I do appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time around. Peace.